Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY. And today we got a service call for a submersible pump. Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech. So here's our cover. So this kind of pump sits in water and it pumps it out through this pipe and into the sewer. Uh, you can see here that the plug is unplugged. This works on a float system. So let's begin by taking this off. The complaint was that the pump keeps making noise. All right, so we got the cover off. There's the pump. Works on a float. Let's plug this in. Okay. Not making noise. Float is down. All right, let's fill this up. So we're in the basement right now. Here is the sink. And when we turn this water on, we're gonna see everything drains into that container where the pump is, as well as the toilet. So here we can see the water's flowing into here. There's a float right over there. Once the float comes up, the pump starts and it starts to pull all the water out. And what was happening is here is most likely something was in the way of the float, which kept running the pump and they kept hearing a noise so they called me and i told them to unplug it till i arrive i just want to fill this up and i really want to see it pump well let's, let's confirm all these things and take it step by step all right as you can see the pump is completely submerged leave the second light here and i'm going to plug it in Let's see what happens. All right, I pumped all the water out and everything is now stopped. It's not making noise. All right, so I ran this pump a few times, the float Everything works well here, but this is the second time I heard this complaint that it gets caught. Sometimes there's something in the float that gets caught, maybe some paper towels, you can see something a little stuck over there. Sometimes I can get in the way of the float, keep it raised, and that keeps the pump running, even when everything, you know, is already pumped out. So, the solution here is, to actually put this pump on a level platform because this okay there it starts again and it turned off everything is okay so what happens is that this is a replacement pump and i know that the pump before this one sat almost in a perfect place like there's these little areas where it's not perfectly leveled because the old pump was larger and it sat in there and sometimes this just shakes and it gets in the way of the float. So I think the best solution here while I'm here is to put this on something level, something waterproof and durable. All right, we are submerged. I'm just gonna turn this on. Pumping, pumping, pumping. guys to pay close attention you see those three little things so that's the stand where the original pump was sitting in there's a third one there right next to the float so at times that's what gets stuck so it's not an even surface so the idea is to make like a little platform here just to make it flat so it doesn't get caught in that ever so here we have a piece of like plexiglass this is actually an acrylic sheet 
it is shadow resistant and stronger and lighter than glass. So the idea would be to like cut this to size and create a flat surface inside there. Put that under the pump and then test everything and then we should be good from there. Okay. I wanna see if there's any play on this. Barely could lift it. I don't wanna break this pipes. So I think the best bet, loosen up this coupling. Yeah, loosen up the coupling. Pull this out, take the water out possibly, or just lay it right there with that little bit of water there and create a flat surface. Those little pieces there make this pump uneven. Every time it turns on and off, it has a little bit of vibration, might shake around and boom, your float will have a problem. I can see it sitting right on the third ring. So that's gotta be the issue. Got these tie wraps that hold the wire. So it's out of our way. Wires are loose. And then we gotta loosen this up. So it doesn't fall. See if we have any play on this. Air in the pipes. Would I even be able to do this? To... Okay, I got play on this just like this because the pipe actually goes right in it. Man, I can't pull this out. I don't want to disconnect any of this. All right, we're going to have to cut the hole, lift it, and just slide it in. All right, so I got my wet vac here. I'm just going to vacuum up what I can inside there. You can see this a bit better. I vacuumed everything out. One, two, and right under the float is the third little cup thing you see. And it's not straight, it sticks out. So the idea is to make a flat platform so it doesn't get caught. I can see the third one is right underneath the float. This is the float right here. And that should solve the issue. Yeah see what happens gotta cut something to size and somehow just like slide it under there all right so here's the cover I'm gonna go with a little bit smaller than the inner diameter just follow along this a little bit smaller though All right, let's cut this. I have this jigsaw with a fine blade. I think this might cut it. All right, that didn't work. Let's see if this does.
So that's what I got. Let's see if I can get this in there. Now it's sitting in there, I'm just adjust it a little better. Note those little holes right there. It's not messing anything up. Now we're sitting on an even platform. And that should do the trick. There's three of them, so this is pretty balanced. Oh, man, gross, but get rid of this. And this. And now let's test it. But before we do that, just put this coupling back. All right. Let's wipe this down, test this, make sure there's no leaks, put all the tie wraps back, and we should be all right. All right, so I turned on the sink. And let's let this fill up and see what happens. All right, so we have no leaks. Pump is starting and turning off. Pipes are not airbound, so everything's good. Flow comes up and down. Platform staying in place. Pipe is holding it down as well as the weight of the pump. This is a cast iron pump. As many of you know, these are quite heavy. So it's about time to put the cover on. Listen to the pump start and stop one last time for peace of mind. And this is about it. All right, everything's closed up. I filled it up. Let's plug it in for peace of mind. Last time, let's hear it turn on and off. On. Pump the water off and it's off. So that was it. Those little three holes. I've seen it time and time again that it gets in the way of the float, and the float was right on the third leg of the third circle. So we put the flat platform, put everything back together, checked for leaks, tested the pump, and that's about it. This should solve the issue. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.